in folks and uh welcome back uh, i apologize for uh that very brief interruption uh so this is a continuation of uh, a, 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 a live stream here of course we're giving you a clear picture of what's happening at the samuel kyando sports complex ahead of the bass internal celebration in liberia of course uh, we were just in uh, we spoke to madame Bole. And of course, uh, she uh, provided some pieces of information talking about the need for us uh, to be able to tell our story and some of the benefits uh, uh, that comes up with uh, this entire bass and tennis celebration in Liberia. So we're out here at the, uh, at the uh, complex, Samuel Kayando Sports Complex. I'm Nelson Collet, Mr. Roar. Uh, of course, uh, we're here. So uh, out here is another be beautiful um, preparation. Yeah, so I mean, like that, you know, everybody, uh, yeah, you can see exactly what it is like. Uh, uh, the preparation ongoing, and uh, this whole place is going to be targeted uh, ahead of the bar centennial celebration, which is going to be here on Monday. Uh, but there are a lot of things I've seen around here, Nelson. I like to talk about, you know, uh, talking about the ship, ship Elizabeth. Uh, those of us who did like doing history, we talk about uh, people coming to Africa and to be precise, Liberia. Uh, this is one of the ships, you know, that brought free slip uh, to Liberia. So we can just show this is a replica of, you know, just uh, being, uh, 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 you know, a uh, place that you can see from here, this particular point. Yeah, so this is the ship. Uh, what, uh, what does this represent, Nelson? Well, uh, it represents, it represents the, uh, the arrival of the free slaves and uh, some, of the, some of the challenges, you know, some of... Uh, uh, the rough waters that they had to go through uh, just to be able to uh, come to this place called Liberia today. Uh, and if you went back in our history, uh, this this ship uh, goes down in history. And and I, I think it's no mistake that uh, they, they th those decorating or designing this place for the bicentennial have actually erected uh, this beautiful um, design here. It's symbolic representation of the ship because. It was very key uh, when it comes to uh, bringing uh, those uh, free slaves uh, to Liberia. Yes. All right. So, so that is it, and uh, we are here. Uh, so we see uh, this year. I'm still trying to get a team for this year's celebration. Talking about the Barcelona celebration uh, because there are a lot of things happening here, and there's going to be so many uh, boots. I would say boots. I'm talking about kiosks. Have been set up uh, for people who may be display. You know, they will, they will show something like uh, the uh, arti I know artifacts from Liberia, and of course, we will also be displaying the culture, and then there will be some historical area for people to go and you know have a clear understanding as to what the Bas and Tennis celebration is about. Like uh, Madame Wede uh, Koba, Koba, you know, yeah, Koba was trying to you know explain to us. So it's not only going to be about coming to see. Uh, pictures of what is here by the end of the day you have some level of education and then also creating that bond uh, between liberia and that of uh, the united states but let's move forward a little bit and see exactly what is being done on the other side because we'll be wrapping up on this uh our live coverage of the preparation ahead of the bicentennial celebration here from the summer kayando sports stadium you can see here and i see this place I, I don't know what is going to be here but like a font fountain being set up oh yeah something like a fountain that uh, uh, that's going to be set up uh, and, and all of those things have their own historic historic um, uh, uh, representation of course I see another structure here like uh, the, 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 the executive the mansion, executive mansion. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and, 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 so let's just let's get closer to it uh, from this point you know, this looked like the, the executive mansion of Liberia. And it's, it's actually the phone of, you know, the executive mansion. It's a representation, it's just you know, uh, a structure put in, uh, being set up uh, as a way of, uh, you know, yeah. So I think this is the executive mansion. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and uh, those, those, those guys who uh, took up time to do uh, this particular work, uh, the crafting, the design and everything, I must admit that they did a very splendid job because uh, you look at the designs and everything uh, from uh, ship Elizabeth uh, to uh, the, 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 the executive mansion I see right before us here. Uh, I think uh, those are things that 
you know, uh, present a kind of uh, symbolic representation of uh, the history of our country. So it's a very great one. Uh, that, that's what I can say about it. Okay, so what I'm seeing here now is this, right? Mm -hmm. So you have the uh, ship Elizabeth. Yeah. Yeah. And that also, I think, is also representing the Providence Island. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, where you have that uh, been put in place. So you can see that they, they're building it up. Uh, I think it's going to be, it's going to be a colorful, you know, event mm -hmm. for, for us to see as we celebrate the mass and dinner celebration. And uh, then we have, uh, so we have, uh, let me just uh, show you. Okay, I think we got a team now. Uh, so, so we can go back to it. I've just seen it. Uh, there you go. The land of the retain, of course, uh, uh, Liberia, the land of retain. Uh, we are commemorating 200 years of uh, freedom and pan African leadership. Yeah. As you can see, that you know, uh, on that particular uh, uh, banner up there, you can see, and you have and there Liberia, the land of retain, commemorating uh, 200, 200 years, years of freedom, freedom. and pan. African. Pan African uh, leadership. So it's also uh, that's what we see here. But I see more decoration going on, or more, you know, uh, a design going at the, uh, the entrance of the VIP. Uh, remember, uh, we will be having a lot of people from a different uh, area talking yeah. about some head of states are also coming here uh, to be part of this uh, celebration. And they're going to be moving from place to place, uh, probably because they will not have the opportunity to go to. And maybe the Providence Island, those who will be coming here, they will just come yeah, directly. Yeah, so, so there has got to be a, a symbolic representation of yeah. all of those historic uh, sites and uh, things in uh, right at the Samuel Kayado Sports Complex here. And, and, and uh, Mr. Rod, now the, 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 the decoration and everything is still ongoing, but even at this point, the minute you get at the entrance of uh, the Samuel Kayado Sports Complex, you get to feel that, uh, that, that, that true sense of belonging to Liberia, of course, you get to know that you're somewhere uh, that has a, a you know a connection with the bass and tennis celebration of sure. course like like you talk about chef elizabeth and anyone who sees this uh, especially going through the history of our country you know exactly this ship was very key and, uh, and, and this all began when uh, it is six free black slaves left at uh, the new york harbor around uh, and, 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 and they boarded the ship and they boarded uh, the ship elizabeth and you know that, that was a defining moment in the history of our country and 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 and, and they, they they were bound for the, the 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 british colony of sierra leone a country which uh welcomed free black slaves from america as well and the fugitive slaves and uh they arrived on the 9th of may that year of course so this this particular ship uh, from 1820 uh, you know, and, and moving on, th this ship played a very key role with respect to uh, the, the history of our country. And those days, you know, transportation was a major issue, Mr. Rowe. Yeah, so and, yeah, people know, use the ship yeah. or, you know, a boat, yeah. you know, so, to travel. So, like now we have flights all around the place. You could just go and take a flight. But back then, you had to be on the waters for, <laughs> for, for months. For months. Yeah. So you said, well, I mean, let's go back to that. When they left uh, the harbor in New York? Uh, yeah, so, so that was uh, in uh, 1820, of course, 86 uh, free black slaves. Uh, the, and um, they arrived on uh, May 9th of, uh, you know, uh, the same year. So it was... Um, a very uh, important moment in our country history and especially uh, I must appreciate the organizers that they even had to uh, come up with this idea and uh, erect this very beautiful structure here representing that ship, ship Elizabeth. And of course we have one of our viewers who is also saying that the government needs to build a special area where we can have such celebration. For instance, if you go to Ghana, they have the Independence Square, very big place that you know you don't have to, you, you can do whatever event you want to have. Um, instead of always using uh, the SKD, I mean, we have a lot of places like talking about mm -hmm. where you have the Fender, uh, you have even around the Robert International Airport. Yeah. I just think for a while that uh, the Firestone, uh, you know, I should give us some of those places you know, oh, that we yeah. can build a Fast better place, land. a fast lane, yeah. we can uh, build uh, something special to have such celebration. But we'll be wrapping up, up right here quickly. Uh, uh, for those of you watching us on TV live, uh, we will give you tomorrow. We'll come up to also give you uh, when you're working on the finishing touches of this particular uh, uh, venue here as for the uh, celebration of the bicentennial. Liberia, and it's this year we say Liberia, the land of return. 
and we are commemorating uh, uh, 200 years of freedom and Pan-African leadership. Uh, it's going to be the official venue is here at the Samuel Kayando Sports Stadium. It's going to be on February 14. That's going to be a Monday and exactly at 9 a.m. This is going to be the venue for people to be, yeah. you know, to come to celebrate. I understand the media, uh, those who are already, you know, uh, uh, accredited there to come to do the coverage are already here and they're giving them, you know, their, their media pass and after that, uh, you know, everybody will be allowed to go there. But there's going to be a special area here so that we just show where they're now doing uh, 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 this place. It's going to be for the VIP. Even though the yeah. decoration is still, I mean, the, the you know, uh, is still ongoing, preparation is still ongoing. So this is going to be for the VIP, uh, the head of states from different countries. And then we also have a dedication from the United States yes. uh, that are being announced by Joe Biden, mm -hmm. the president of the United States. They're also joining uh, Liberia, uh, uh, you know, uh, in celebrating this year, uh, 200, uh, you know, of existence. Well, folks, this is how I would like to wrap up. Maybe my colleague uh, will just uh, take us home. Oh yeah, so uh, it's, it's a very historic uh, moment for our country uh, and, and, and for the people of, of, of West Africa, for those of the, of the, of the uh, black race and everything, it's, it's a very historic moment. So yes, Liberia is celebrating it, 200 years of, uh, of uh, 200 years. Okay, yeah, so 200 years, you know, and so uh, it's, 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 it's going to be a colorful event from what we see here so far. So. What we can say is that Liberians will have to turn up here in their numbers, uh, especially on Monday, to make sure that they form part of uh, this very beautiful event coming up uh, right here beginning Monday, February 14th. So, uh, Mr. Ralph, for me, I'd like to say thanks to all of the folks out there, those uh, who shared the video, commented, and uh, have been following uh, the live stream. And uh, till we talk to them again, and uh, it's a bye-bye for now.